hi faves welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to be making fufu at home in very simple and easy steps this fufu does not smell it does not have a terrible odor and it is super super nice the first thing we are going to do is to cut our cassava into smaller sizes like you can see me do in the video Now we are going to proceed to peel our cassava. Cassava is actually very easy to peel. As you can see, it has a natural um, peel. So you just have to follow that peel line. Cassava is quite easy to peel. Now we are going to chop the cassava into smaller sizes. Next up, we're going to transfer this to a bowl and we're going to fill up the bowl with some water. I'll be soaking my cassava for 4 days to allow it to ferment a little. After 4 days, this is what it looks like. I'm going to be rinsing off the fermentation on, on top of it and I'm just going to rinse it with a lot of water. After doing this, I'm just going to transfer this to my blender now and I will be blending them until they are really smooth. I'll add a little bit of water to aid the blender and I would blend until it is really smooth.
Once that is smooth, I'll transfer this to my cheesecloth and I will sieve this to get rid of the excess starch in the fufu. I'm going to use this bowl as a fountain to allow the water to drain from the fufu. I'm, I'm just going to leave this for about an hour or two. This is what we have. This is the consistency that we're looking for. And this water right here is starch. You can use it to starch your clothes or you can eat it like starch now this is what we are looking for and i'll go ahead to cook the fufu right now i'll be adding a little bit of water to cook this properly more like diluting the fufu in the pot I'm going to ensure that there are no lumps in the fufu so as not to have any lumps so I'm just going to be sure that this is well diluted by rotating my spoon in that pot like you can see me do in this video. If you notice some of the fufu has already started cooking it's already forming but it's not here fully formed so I'm just going to go ahead and keep doing it. The fufu is already coming together now but this is not what we are looking for so I'm just going to continue to cook this. Now that the fufu has turned off white, this is the color that we're looking for and I'm just going to keep pressing it against the pot so as to confirm that there are no lumps in the fufu. I'll add a little bit of water to this for it to cook again and I would just use my spoon to press it down to ensure that the water cooks through. I'll cover this and allow it to properly cook. Once this is ready, I would mix my fufu and Trying to incorporate the water into the fufu, and it's already forming, like you can see. Yeah, fufu is ready at this point. Oops, there is a lump, but I pressed that down. I'm just going to enjoy my fufu with some egusi soup. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye.